All aboard. Tickets, please. We are all on a journey in life, and one which always arrives at its destination. But could it be possible that some of the passengers on life's roadmap reach their final stop and refuse to leave? <laughs> we enter this world knowing only life, yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. For centuries, we have developed and relied on transport to open a new world of exploration in modern day life. And hidden in the heart of St. Helens is a building that houses transportation and artefacts from around the world. Now these vehicles have reached their final resting point and it would appear that some of them have attracted their very own ghostly passengers. Hello and welcome, this is Ghost Dimension. Today we are investigating a site which is home to many old and retired vehicles, which served the local community for over a hundred years. This is the Northwest Transport Museum in the heart of St. Helens. A depot has been on this site since 1881, when privately owned horse trams entered service in St. Helens. They were later replaced by steam trams, which in turn were replaced by electric trams. The museum houses a variety of vehicles from not only the UK, but as far as Australia, America, and a little closer to home, Malta. Literally thousands of people have been ferried from one place to another on these vehicles and it would appear either some passengers and staff from a bygone age are still clocking into work long after they've retired from this world. There's been many, many, many hauntings. We've had reports of old stable hands, stable boys walking around the building. Um, we've got someone called Frank who actually uh, haunts the workshop areas upstairs. There are other vehicles yeah. as you go through the night where there are certain areas that we would advise you not to sit in. Um, we have had reports of guests being groped. Uh, a gentleman went on a vehicle, um, was sat down and the next minute he went, ouch, my back is burning. Uh, and the minute he stood up, he had scratch marks coming from his shoulder, literally down and oh, across his back. Hearing about the physical attack from a spirit, we needed to hear exactly how this had happened. And if the spirit in question had been provoked before it made its assault, or was it purely a demonic attack? There's two witches on Chester 47. Myself, I've been attacked by them. And it wasn't very pleasant. I see I ended up being held in the seat with scratch marks going from my shoulder all the way down to my back, to the base of my back. It took Dave and two of us to get them off me on the bus. My to get off the bus, and the minute I got off the bus, I was attacked again. So it then took the three of them again to get it off me. What we do is, when we have groups that come in to do invests, the mediums, if they find 
an evil spirit. They will try and cast a spell so that it is locked onto that vehicle. Could the entrapment of evil spirits and spells cast by psychic mediums be the cause of all the activity at the museum? An oppressive and intense feeling of foreboding emanates from this vehicle, and many a visitor have fled in fear, vowing never to return. This bus was involved in a serious accident, resulting in some of the passengers, the driver and the conductor losing their lives. Screams have been heard coming from here late at night. Is this a residual replay of what happened on that fateful day? There is also a report of a demonic entity that has been caught and trapped inside of this bus and no living person is allowed inside due to the danger caused by this entity. Pointing directly at the bus. Okay. But that is the bus in question. These two seats here. Mm -hmm. They'll actually come right up against the window. Mm -hmm. And it's literally... <laughs> growling at you. Really oh. ferocious growl. Has anybody ever caught any evidence on this bus? No, because once we found out it was on there, we got the tree to just really lock it on there. We'll lock it on the bus. Yeah. And we don't let the public on there whatsoever. I've been told not to let anyone go on the bus at all. If there is still something residing on this vehicle, tonight we will attempt to capture this demonic entity with a lock off camera. And with so much reported activity, we hear from Devante to see what he believes could be causing the disturbances at the museum. So this is the Transport Museum located in St Helens and as you can see behind me it's a museum mainly dedicated to buses. Um, there have been rumours of noises being throughout this building, a few creaks, a few moans, howlings. From my point of view I think the roof's plastic, it is, it's made out of plastic and it's quite thin as well. With that being said, during the summer months it gets quite hot in there quite easily. During the winter months it gets quite cold in there quite easily. All these buses are mainly made out of metal. With that being said, thermal expansion will be happening on the year, so when it gets warmer, it'll be contracting out. The screws will come loose a little bit, maybe they could be rattling in there. During the winter months, it's coming back together, but it's returning to its original shape, so as that's happening, it'll be doing creaks, and the nuts again will be moving about. The engines, even though there's nothing running through, the engines are still in place, so say something knocked about inside there, if you didn't have prior knowledge to the engines actually being in there, you could mistake that for something that's actually not. The building, it's quite a large, just standard warehouse. Noise travels quite easily, so a noise on one end of the factory can sound like something completely different on this side of the factory. If you want to say that could be a ghost, you don't know, I would think that it's just maybe something's been dropped and if you're the only one inside the building and something's dropped, you're going to be a bit freaked out by it. With noises also being heard inside of the buses, what does Devante believe could be the cause of this activity? So this is one of the buses inside the museum. Um, it's one of the ones that you can actually come on. The museum themselves, they decide who can come on and off the buses. So say for example, a bus has been, you know, receiving a lot of tourism activity and then the, the museum decided, right, no one can go on there now. Everything that's being played with constantly has been in use all the time. When it's just stopped, it's going to start moving and shifting and maybe going back to its original state before. So even the seats, you've got people sitting on them all the time, the cushion's always going to be compressed. Now that you've not got anybody sitting on them for a prolonged period of time, they're slowly going to start to spring back up in a way. With that being said, the metal as well, when it's getting hot inside the building, these are made out of steel, so they'll be expanding, they'll start bending as well. Um, when you've got a lot of people, when on the buses with high tourism attraction, when you've got people constantly sitting on them, not everyone's as gentle as you know they would like them to be, so maybe they're jumping on them a bit too hard, maybe they're pushing them out, then when they're getting up and leaving, the metal's starting to slowly come back to its original state. That could be an explanation for some of the noises that people have heard inside the buses as opposed to actually outside in the factory themselves. Ghost dimension. 
Tonight we investigate dark claims of paranormal activity that appears to be demonic and dangerous at the Northwest Museum of Road Transport. Will we be wanting to get off this ride before we reach our final destination? All aboard, next stop, the Ghost Dimension. After hearing about the demonic entity locked inside of a bus, we head over and place it on a lock-off camera in the hope we may capture something lurking inside. What I'll do is I'll take you down to where a paranormal group had an experience with a de demonic figure face came at them, and I'll show you where it was. Um, oh, we dropped the cross. It was here. Okay, so right here. These two chairs, and it came out of the window, frightened to death. Right, let's get the whole bus on the shot, yeah? With the bus now on lock-off, we head over to meet Paul and begin our journey and to try and make contact with whoever, or whatever, is haunting here. Southport. Do you think we should play in the channel here? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. Something's uh, amiss, isn't here? Right, let's put this down here. Ready? Yeah. The hell's that down there? Who's down there? Who are you? Can you copy us? No way. Did Can you, you hear that? Somebody's down there. Let's get this chant on. Ready? Did you hear the whistle? Yeah. Okay. You think about this. This is before we've even played the chant. Let's get the chant on. Did you hear that loud thud? Yeah. It's on the buses. The chant we are playing was designed for Ghost Dimension and to attract spirit entities to interact with us during investigations and we always receive amazing results when it is played. If you're here with us right now, can you give us a sign? No way, no, 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 no way. Talking. Yeah, that was talking. Can you talk a bit louder so we can hear you? Can you show yourself on the camera that Paul's got there? Or can you communicate to one of us? That's down at the back. That looks like somebody on the bus, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like a silhouette. That, that looks like a head. Can you see that? With the sounds we could hear coming from inside of the buses, and Paul seeing some sort of figure appearing to manifest on the SLS, we head over and enter to see if we could provoke even more activity from these spirit entities. Okay. Can I make a suggestion? Can we go over to the bus that was uh, in a 
crash mm -hmm. uh, the bus driver had a heart attack only because you know when we finished playing that chant I heard a load of kids and it was over there and that's where the bus is let's go straight over yeah let's go need the way back oh need... what the hell yeah 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 that's coming from this bus it's flashing over there like proper flashing over there Right before the bang, like a like a like a like a somebody's take. Do you hear the noise in the bus? Bex could hear children by a bus that had been involved in an accident, and when we approached, a loud crashing noise can be heard. What the hell? We also caught the following sounds on the camera audio, which was not noticed at the time, and sounds like somebody whistling. Right, before the bang. Like a, like a, like a, like a somebody's take. Do you hear the noise in the bus? Perhaps our chanting music from earlier had intrigued the spirits inside of the museum to come out and investigate us. Did you hear that? What did you hear? Like a big... Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That sounded like a door opening, didn't it? At the back. One of the bosses. OK, let's go. Let's go down there. Did you hear that? Yeah. What the hell? I heard it again. That's a woman's voice. I don't know, but it's gone from there to there very quickly. What the hell was that? I don't know. Hello? Can you do that again? That, that was faint, and I don't know if we got that, but that was now down there. I tell you what, it's like we're surrounded. Yeah. They're all coming out to play. It's a divide and conquer. I don't see that. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah. Bang. Yeah, yeah, footstep. Yeah. Bang. Have you noticed, so every time we try to progress down there, they pull something us distracts us. So let's not get distracted. Let's go to where we're trying to get to and see what happens. You know what the thud sounds like? It sounds like, you know, when you hit the bottom stair? Mm. Coming off the bus? Yep. Dump. Yeah. Let's do it, let's go down. Come on, ladies first. With the noises appearing to be shifting around the building and attempting to stop us from moving deeper into the museum, we defy the spirits and press on and venture into one of the buses which we believe the noises are coming from. This is the bus. The um, bus driver had a heart attack at the wheel and he was carrying loads of kids and he um, crashed into a he crashed into a bus stop with lots of kids and adults and killed a lot of people, including himself. Every time people investigate this bus, uh, they smell bananas and sandwiches and stuff like that, like a packed lunch. Serious, in really? the bus. In the bus. It was gone, but it was right on the edge of the. <sighs> Got it. Recorded it. Got it. Recorded. Yeah. yeah. I told you this it was bus. Just there for a second. When we finished, maybe that chant. No, we stick this in there. Yeah. yeah, because when we'd finished that chant, I heard loads of kids. So I'm assuming it's coming from the bus. Are we ready? We are indeed.
our investigation of the Transport Museum was increasing in activity, and it was clear that we were not alone. But as we continued our investigation, could we entice even more spirits out of hiding? As we ventured onto one of the buses, Paul caught an anomaly on the SLS camera. Was this one of the spirits that had been making noises we could hear around the building? Figure. Figure. I'm going to yeah, as there's well. a figure. It's like it's actually hanging onto that bar. It does look like, yeah. Mm. That is weird. Can you, if that is you, hold it onto the bar? Can you walk into the bus? Walk into the bus. And it did. It did. It no. went from there to there and just vanished. Boom, boom, very quickly and gone. Can you come back out of the bus and hold on to that pole? Footsteps as well. Mm -hmm. He also went under a bridge because he kept driving because he was he had a heart attack of the wheel flaked out and he took the top of the bus off. Let's go in the bus. Let's yeah. go in. He's now in the bus, obviously. Oh my God, it smells in here. You smell it? Yeah. Right. Oh, there we go. What? What up behind you then for a split second? What did you capture? Him. Another the figure. man. It looked like it was stood on this seat and then just vanished. So he was on the seat and then vanished. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Shh. Paul. Not hearing that, Paul. Yeah. Voices. No. Four. Bangs. No, you're not hearing that anymore. Sit down. Tap, 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 tap. Ready? Do that again. Somebody right in front of you. Sean. Yeah. That was you that we just heard and you're in front of me. Oh my god. Somebody's getting up off the seat. Tap again. Stand up again. Okay, the one you were there over there, Paul. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Paul. Tap, 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 on the floor. Ready? I'll come this way, you'll hear it. wonder if I put my camera near the floor. Pick up the audio. Put the camera on the floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was your name Pat? Yeah. Are you the driver? Are you here because you feel guilty about what happened? The bus is rocking. Yeah. The bus? So we are standing on it. It's rocking. Is anybody out there? Listen? Maybe it was an indication of how many people he killed or died. Maybe. Can you do it again for us, Pat? Can you knock out how many people oh, has actually died? Oh, I'm really dizzy. Really? Dizzy. Is it? Yeah. Well, 
Is that you that affected Paul? Step back from Paul. You step back from Paul. We understand you want him to feel what you felt in the last. <laughs> Squeeze. Squeeze. Paul needs to get off the bus. Paul. Yeah, Paul needs to get off the bus. Um, Pat, we understand you want to um, show us how you felt before you passed away and that's how you, uh, you created the accident but can you step away from Paul and leave him alone please? Let's get you off the bus. Yeah, Paul needs to get off the bus. You get the obvious. Something had joined us on the bus and appeared to be drawn to Paul. So we took him away to settle before we head back out on loan vigils and attempt to make even further contact with the spirits at the museum. On review of our footage from the lock-off camera, we caught nothing of interest, so we relocated it inside of the bus known as Chester 47, where member of staff Adam had been physically attacked on the bus. I see I'm being held in the seat, where scratch marks going from my shoulder all the way down to my back. So the base of my back. We also placed a trigger object on the floor in the hope that the entity lurking inside may interact with it. Okay, so I am going to do my first lone vigil on the Australian bus. Um, this was fantastic in the light before. So I'm gonna set up a load of equipment down the front end of the bus. Um, I've been told up. Oh. As soon as I come in, I feel like somebody was there behind me. Oh, I don't like it. I've been told that all the activity has um, accumulated at the front end of the bus. So, I'm going to start by putting all my equipment at the front of the bus and stop being a wimp. Right, here we go. I'm going to turn it round. Sorry if there's a load of shaking, but I'm going to get my equipment out. This bus and this bus is the Lancaster Transport Bus 201. Why could this bus be haunted? I don't know. I was spoke to some of the people at work here. They believe that some people come back in here because they like, you know, just like plane spotters and train spotters, they like buses. Some people passed away, unfortunately, on buses. It's just a sad fact of life. I've got a um, K2, and you know when you feel like you should be going somewhere? I feel like I should be upstairs with the K2, uh, sorry, with the REM pod I've got as well, and just setting the REM pod off. So I'm gonna put the REM here. Okay, the REM is there. If anything comes near the REM, it's going to alarm just like that. Okay. So, <clears throat> I am on a bus at the Northwest Transport Museum in St. Helens. And the bus that I'm on at the moment was used for prisoner transport, apparently, where a driver was killed, as were a few prisoners. I just thought I heard something down there for a second. So, a few bits of equipment. There's a rem on that seat there. There's a rem down there. That seat faces the rest because that's where a guard would sit. 
prisoners. We have a touch torch and I have a voice recorder going as well. So <coughs> it uh, takes on a completely torch has just come on. The torch has just come on. Thank you. The driver apparently was killed when somebody threw a knife and got him in the back of the neck apparently. Is this the driver of the the bus? Were you transporting prisoners? Did something happen on this bus that resulted in your death? Our investigation continues at the North West Museum of Road Transport. And with us all experiencing so much activity already, what else could be in store for us? Could we be about to take a wrong turn into an unexpected entity? So, is there anybody on this Australian bus with me tonight? If there is, can you give me three knocks just like this? Can you see what I see? The light has gone off. Come back on if you're here. Now it's funny because when I came onto the bus before, uh, it's just it's very gently coming on. Oh, there we go. When I came onto the bus before, I did say I felt like somebody was behind me over here. And it's very close to my touch torch. Uh, come on, turn the touch torch on. I know you're just mustering up that energy. I can just see you. Come on. Just turn it on. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that be. If it comes on, I'll come back to it. Is anybody there? Can you can you make the, rem the K2 go off? Anybody? Can you affect my equipment? And it, and it, doing a baseline reading in here, and nothing is here, which is not surprising because. There are... Hello. What? Hello. Can you tap again if that was you? Thank you. Came from over there. He's gonna put this over there. Thank you. Do you know who I am? I'm a paranormal investigator. Can you tap if, I mean, this is quite early this since of this investigation of who you are. Can you make a noise with your voice? An audible noise as well as tapping? I have a device upstairs. If you go towards it, it's got some lights on it and you'll be able to change the lights and make a noise with that as well. Or you can come towards my device here and make a noise as well. Can you do any of that for me? Is there anybody going through there? Is anybody in this bus? that maybe enjoyed riding on this bus, maybe you worked on this bus and you want to come back here. Is there anybody on this bus that would like to talk to me? Can you tell me your story? Were you a prisoner? Were you a prisoner or were you the coach driver? Were you a prison guard? Or a prisoner? I'm not here to 
judge you, so if you're a prisoner, that's not my job. Whoa! We have two rounds going off, thank you so much. That was, to me, not judging anybody. Fantastic, thank you. Step away from that one now, please, thank you. Holy macaroni! That was very good. Brilliant. I've just heard a slight noise. Can you knock three knocks like this? Can you knock now? Oh my God. Damn it. I just heard three knocks. Touch torch, can you let the touch torch come on? Oh god, I don't like it. I don't know where I've why I've become a wimp lately, but I don't like it. Oh, god. That was that. That's obviously me there. But it looked like there was somebody staring in to the bus. Out, out of that window, it looked like somebody was staring in. Oh my God, did you just see? Look there, that's a reflection of what's behind me. Hi, did you just stare at me through the window and now you've come onto the bus? It got brighter. Can you make the touch torch go off? Oh God. Oh God, it feels like somebody's behind me. Are you here with me right now? See, I can hear something. I don't know what it is. Are you still here with me? So we've established you're a man. Did you drive the bus? Oh, 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 wow, wow. You did, you drove the bus. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, can you turn the meter off, please? Can you turn it off? Okay, you're really freaking me out now. Can you turn it off, please? After three, one, two, thank you. Is there somebody on here by the name of Arthur? Or Charlie? These are a couple of names that we've been given today. So is this, is this a name that you recognise, Arthur or Charlie? And the torch is on again. Awesome, thank you. Can you turn it off if your name's Arthur? Arthur. Okay. That's pretty good. Thank you, Arthur. The level of activity we were experiencing was immense, and Sean decided to leave his bus and head over to mine. While Paul ventured onto the Chester 47, where staff have reported being attacked. Before moving, Sean checked the lock off camera on the Chester 47 and found that the cross had indeed moved. Had the dark entity that attacked Adam been the spirit responsible for moving the cross? And if so, what more was it able to do? Hey, 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 hey. That bus is amazing. Why, why, why? So much activity. Um, something touched my hair. I established his name was Frank. He didn't die on the bus, he died um, off the bus, but he lived there. And so he loved coming back to it. My REM pod went off whilst asking Whoa. questions. My touch torch went off. <clears throat> K2 didn't go off um, but so much. Can you hear that? Where the hell did that come from? I don't know what. 
Let's go back in this box. This box is amazing. It really is. Frank? Frank, I've brought somebody else back to speak to you. This. That was a. That was an audio voice. voice. That was. That sounded a bit like. Okay. Okay, okay. In the audio I can hear what I'm hearing but it sounds like yeah, somebody sort of breaking the nails over the seats. I'm just going to read up what I can hear. Can you hear that? Look at my hand. I've heard that about four. While Paul was investigating the Chester 47 he could hear the sounds of nails dragging on the seats, and he caught the following audio, which we believed sounded like, she's watching you. I've heard that about four, about four, about four. Who was this disembodied voice? And was it an early warning sign for what was about to come? The torch that I've just set up, the torch is going off. I've oh said, my god, yeah. yeah. I know. I've said, come on for the answer, yes. Go off for the answer, no. And I, yeah, it was amazing. I said his story. I said everything that. Um, oh my oh, god, see, it's pulsating. See, see, see? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. And as that's happening, the torch is pulsating a light straight out of it. You know, this is an active spirit, really is. I'm just going to put that light down there. Um, it's really active spirit. Frank, can you turn that meter off, please? In three, two, bed, look. I can see. One. <gasps> you see the light go off? Yeah. Frank, can you turn the meter off? Please? Frank, turn it off. Three. Two, one. He's not doing it. No. Oh. Yeah. This is weird. It's amazing. This, uh, look at this light. Frank, you still here? Is it still you? Yeah, did you see how stable yeah, it became? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are there some witches on here? <clears throat> I've heard that uh, you like to attack people. I've heard a few stories about you're supposed to pin people in seats, stop them from getting off. You've attacked them. You want to try and attack me? I really don't mind if you want to try that afraid of you. Do you want to give it a go? Let's go upstairs where they slept. Okay. Let's do it. <gasps> Come back. What's happening? Come back. Talk to me. You went over there and it sounded like somebody was getting up off the seat. Did you capture it? I was pointing this way, but I, I heard the noise, you know, the leather. Get, you know, coming Rising up. Rising off the seat. Yeah. Wow. Just as, let's retry that. Point your camera that way. I, I had it this way. And then let's go upstairs. I let's... think the K2 went off, I'm not sure. We'll have to re, re let's, let's, let's go back. I'm pointing this way, you point that way. Fell down 
pasta. No, didn't hear it again. So it's just Somebody's a following us. Is it Frank? Let's go up here for two minutes and see if anybody does a tap. I can't see, I've got my light. Oh my god, stop. Oh. I don't know if we would have picked up, but it sounded like somebody sat on that chair. Oh, babe. Oh, babe. I'm going to stand this side. You stand that side. <laughs> no way. Did you hear that? Did you go first? Where? Down there. Oh God. You go first. Oh, it's still moving. Did you hear that? Yeah, it is. I can't see. Stop. I heard it moving again. I did. Let's just get down. Jesus! What? It was the K2 meter. My God! Look! Yeah. Jesus! Hello? The K2. And let's get our equipment. How the hell did that happen? Did you hear it? You point that way. It was clear that something was on the bus with us, and on review of our footage, we can clearly see the K2 meter was in place before it ended up on the floor. After this tense experience, we both left the bus and head towards Paul. Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ! Ah, ah, ah! Ah, get off! Shit! Jesus! Oh! Guys, where are you? Yeah. Oh. I don't know if someone's just raped me back. No. Oh my god, Paul. Oh, no way, Paul. Oh, I'm just provoking. What did you do to get that? What did you just, say? I was just, I was telling him about, you know, asking why witches would be on that bus. <gasps> that is. I didn't believe in them or not, you know, come on, do it to me if they wanted to. Do you know how many there is? How many scratches? I haven't got a clue. Three. How many? Three. Three. Three scratches. Christ. That's burning. God, God. That's really bad. Like, really, really bad. That hurts. <laughs> oh my god, Paul. I think it's time. I really think it's time to call it a night. I, I do, it's too yeah, um, It's too dangerous. When things start happening like that and affecting the crib, no, don't like it. And we're gonna get out of here because it's it's heating up too much. Um that is so I just felt like, what did he raise a place down my back? Ghost dimension. There is something dark and sinister haunting in the shadows of the Transport Museum. And its attack on our crew tonight shows that when you delve into the dark entities, you open up the realm to a dangerous dimension. Before our departure, we banish the entities back to the underworld where they came from. <laughs>